the BMW M3 is turning 30. And BMW M GmbH is showcasing four unusual variants of it to celebrate. BMW M3 Touring, Compact and two pickups from 1986 and 2011. So how did these one-offs come into being? The first pickup was based on the E30 convertible. We made it to transport tyres and parts for the DTM, because we had no other way of transporting them at the time. Luckily for the team, the stiff E30 convertible they had was the ideal basis for building a pickup. After 26 years of service on the plant premises, their BMW M3 pickup was replaced. We'd already started work on converting an E93 to succeed the last pickup and then we hit on an idea. We decided to unveil it as a new model, as an April Fool's joke in 2011. Later an official press release clarified the facts. Nonetheless, the E93 M3 pickup was approved for use on public roads and included a host of enhancements. This is the classic flange-mounted roll bar. Everything around the passenger cell was converted subsequently. On the new model, the roll bar was integrated, so both vehicles even have target tops. The various prototypes were perfect for their respective jobs. The BMW M3 Compact, for instance, was born from the idea of creating an entry-level M vehicle. We wanted an affordable vehicle for young people, a counterpart to the Golf GTI, for a price that would attract younger people to BMW M as well. Like the Compact, the BMW M3 Touring was used only in-house for internal testing but was easily good enough to have made it into series production. At about that time, Audi brought out their RS4 onto the market. So BMW M GmbH decided to adapt the M3 Touring as a potential model to remain competitive. These one-off M3s were all about implementing ideas learning new things and testing feasibility. And they all provide impressive evidence of what a BMW M3 can do.